Roughly 600,000 students who attend post-secondary schools in the greater Toronto Hamilton area commute to class. But what is their experience like? Is transportation a headache? Could it be improved? A new study, the largest ever done on student transportation, aims to address some of those concerns. You're traveling almost four hours from Brampton to Ryerson every day. Yep. What kind of an impact did that have on your day-to-day -day life? It's killing when you're a student, you get out of school. Um, like I ended up staying at school till like 10, 11 o'clock, an hour to two hours commute, you know, and then the next morning I would have to get, uh, get up really early. Um, so I basically got no sleep, which affected my grades as well. That is why Ryerson University student Inara Awadia decided to move to campus to avoid the headache. One in 11 GTHA residents is a post-secondary student, a large group that commutes to school almost every day and takes part in other activities, relying heavily on transit services and transportation infrastructure. What is your experience like when you do take transit? Um, taking transit is pretty awful in the city, especially during rush hour, as everyone knows. Um, getting on the Queen Street car or even the King Street car is quite crowded during those times. This student relies on the TTC and cycling to get to school. Both options come with concerns. You have streets where the bike lane will just end. So you'll be riding down and it'll just end. Or you'll have to go down precarious laneways or alleys or through parking lots and that sort of thing to get between bike lanes. According to Student Move TO, the group behind the study, preliminary research shows commuting to class affects a student's participation in academic and social activities. One of the reasons the group wants to involve students in the conversation with researchers and transportation planners to inform public policy and bring change. Our universities and colleges have a large footprint within the GTHA and we are an important stakeholder in the city building and community building within this region. What kind of change would you want to see when it comes to transportation in the GTHA? Um, I feel like there should be uh, like shuttle buses, especially in areas like Brampton. There are no shuttle buses, um, which makes a commute hard. The survey will involve 10 post-secondary schools in the GTHA, including here at Ryerson University, and it will take place between October 1st to November 15th. Malia Sheikh, City News.